Hi friends, welcome to Pre-Dev Tech. Today we're comparing macOS Tahoe to Sequoia, so let's get started. At first, you, you'll you notice all new dock and liquid glass icons in macOS Tahoe. They look more refined and refreshed. On the left, you can see how it looked in Sequoia, so you can easily spot the difference. Next, you'll notice that Launchpad has been replaced by an all new app folder, similar to iOS. You can switch between list view or grid view to see your apps the way you like. However, there is one limitation. You can't customize the position of apps or create your own folders like you could on iOS or the older Launchpad. On the right, you can see how Launchpad used to look for comparison. The new app folder does let you filter apps by categories such as productivity, creativity, utilities, photos, videos, and more. This makes it easier to find what you need quickly. Next, you'll notice all your iPhone apps right inside the app folder. You'll see small iPhone icons next to these apps so you know they're from your phone. You can open any of these apps directly using iPhone mirroring, making it seamless to use your iPhone apps on your Mac. Next, you'll notice everything looks more rounded in macOS Tahoe compared to Sequoia. On the left, you can see how Sequoia looked. They and here, in Tahoe, every element feels softer and smoother. From finder windows to app icons and even app backgrounds, everything now has a more rounded, modern design. Next, you'll notice an all-new addition of system icons in macOS Tahoe. From the drop-down under the Apple logo to the left, finder, file, edit, view, go, window, and help, um, everything now has fresh icons. Even when you right-click, you'll see brand new icon additions now let's talk about all new visual changes. First, let's compare with macOS Sequoia. On the left, you can see how Sequoia looked where you could only change the accent color for menu backgrounds. Now look at macOS Tahoe. Everything has a complete visual refresh similar to iOS and it feels much more alive. You can now customize icon and folder colors from the classic default to light and dark modes. There's also a new clear glass option with a modern liquid glass effect available in both light and dark versions. And for more color, there's the tinted style where you can choose vibrant shades like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and many more, or even create your own custom color to match your setup. Tahoe truly makes everything feel personal and modern. You can now also customize the color of widgets, just like you do with icons and folders. You can choose from colors like red, orange, yellow, green, and more. This makes your widgets match your style and feel more personalized. You can even customize each folder with your own colors and icons, just like iPadOS 26. For example, here I'm setting an emoji on this folder and making it purple. This makes your folders more personal and easier to identify. Next, let's talk about all new additions to the menu bar found just below appearance and settings. The first thing you'll notice is that the menu bar no longer has a background, giving it a cleaner and more modern look. Now, the menu bar is much more customizable. You can add or drag different controls like battery, clock, connectivity, desktop and finder, display brightness, stage manager, focus, home, music playing, and many more. This lets you quickly access the tools you use most without opening additional apps. You can also place Quick Note here for quick access to note down text anytime. There are also new iPhone-like options for quick screenshot and screen recording. Just click Add to Menu Bar and the control appears at the top uh, instantly. Um, if you ever want to remove a control, simply right-click and choose Remove or Remove from Menu Bar. Overall, these changes make the menu bar more flexible, functional, and tailored to how you work on your Mac. Now, let's talk about all new Control Center customization in macOS 26 Tahoe. First, let's compare with macOS Sequoia. On the left, you can see that you couldn't edit any controls, drag or drop them, or change their positions at all. In Tahoe, the Control Center is completely customizable, similar to iOS. To start, just click the Control Center icon in the top right corner and select Edit Controls. You can now drag, drop, and rearrange the controls, just like on your iPhone. It's very flexible, so you can organize it the way you use it most. You can also add new controls from the left-hand options, similar to the top bar controls. Simply drag and drop any control into the control center to make it immediately accessible. 
and don't worry if you make a mistake or want to start fresh and you can easily reset the control center directly from the menu bar options. Next you'll notice a subtle but useful change in macOS 26 Tahoe. When you increase or decrease the sound or brightness, you no longer see the large blocking square control in the center of the screen. Instead, the adjustment appears neatly in the top right corner, within the control center. Now let's talk about all new wallpapers in macOS 26 Tahoe. You can scroll through a wide variety of options, including dynamic, landscape, cityscape, underwater, and more. The new Tahoe Dynamic Wallpaper and Tahoe Day Wallpaper even include animated water effects right on the lock screen, making your Mac feel more alive. There's also a collection of retro Mac wallpapers for a nostalgic look so you can mix classic and modern styles. On top of that, you can now customize the lock screen clock just like on iOS. You can change the font, make it thinner or bolder, and adjust it to suit your style. These options give you much more control over how your Mac looks every time you wake it up, adding both style and personality. Now, here's one of the biggest updates in macOS 26 Tahoe, the all new spotlight. For example, command plus one is now for applications, command plus two is for files, command plus three, icon plus three shows actions, and command plus four is why uh, plus four brings up your clipboard history. So let's try them out. When you press command plus one and type, you'll only see apps. This makes it super fast to launch applications without digging through your dock or finder. Next, if you press command plus two, Spotlight focuses only on files. So whether it's a document, a PDF, or even something buried in folders, you can find it instantly. Now the real game changer comes with command plus three, the new actions. Actions let you set shortcuts for specific tasks, and they can save you a lot of time. For example, you can assign SM for sending a message. Just type SM into Spotlight and you can send a message right away, without ever opening the Messages app. Want to create a new note? You could assign N or any shortcut you like, type it in Spotlight and boom! Your note is created without opening the Notes app. It also works with mail. Let's say you assign M for sending email. Type M and you can compose and send an email instantly. And it doesn't stop there. You can set actions for things like making a call, starting FaceTime, setting a stopwatch or timer, creating a new folder, even launching ChatGPT. Pretty much any quick task can be done right from Spotlight. And here's where it gets even better. So, um, you can create your own personalized shortcuts. Let me show you. I want Spotlight to open Adobe Illustrator whenever I type just the letter L. So I go into shortcuts, create a new shortcut, pick the action open app, and select Illustrator. Then I assign L as my custom keyword. Now, the next time I type L in Spotlight, Illustrator opens instantly. That's how powerful and flexible Spotlight has become. Uh, finally, with Command plus four, Spotlight now includes clipboard history. Uh, this means you can copy multiple things, and maybe some text, a link, an image, and Spotlight keeps track of it all, no more worrying about losing something you copied earlier. Now, here I'm copying multiple things from the Notes app. From Spotlight, I can choose to paste the second item I copied directly into Chrome. Then I copy something new from Chrome and paste it back into Notes. This means you no longer need to depend on third-party software for clipboard history. Spotlight now has it built in, making copy and paste much more powerful and convenient. Now, one of the biggest updates in macOS 26 Tahoe is the addition of the phone app to the Mac. For the first time, you now get a native phone app, just like on your iPhone. This means you can make and receive calls directly on your Mac without needing to pick up your phone. But the real game changer is what comes next. You can now record calls natively and even get live transcripts of the conversation. For example, here I'm recording a call and the transcript appears instantly inside the Notes app right alongside the audio file. This makes it incredibly useful for work calls, interviews, or even keeping track of important conversations. And if you need to share or save the call, you can export the recording as a .movie file with just a click. With these additions, the phone app turns your Mac into a complete communication hub. Next is the improved iPhone mirroring. In macOS 26 Tahoe, it feels much more natural and smooth. You can open your iPhone screen directly on your Mac and it responds instantly, almost like you're holding the phone in your hand. For example, here I'm opening the InShot app and editing a video file right on my Mac without even touching my iPhone. This makes iPhone mirroring much more powerful for both productivity and creativity. And now let's talk about the all new game app in macOS. For the first time, Mac has a dedicated game app where you can find 
download and organize all your games in one place. You can download any game directly to your Mac or subscribe to Apple Arcade to unlock a wide library of premium games to play instantly. The game app also works hand in hand with the new game mode, which automatically prioritizes performance and reduces latency for a smoother, more responsive experience. Now, let's talk about the all new Magnifier app in macOS 26 Tahoe. You just open the Magnifier app, go to camera, and select your iPhone as the camera. You can magnify or scan small details using your iPhone camera and view them directly on your Mac screen. For example, here I'm scanning keyboard letters and even tiny text on a tablet strip appears clearly on the Mac. You can even copy the scanned text directly into any app, making it really practical. Overall, the magnifier is a simple but powerful tool that makes your Mac experience smarter. That's it for our comparison between macOS Tahoe and Sequoia. You can clearly see how much more modern and polished Tahoe is from the all new liquid glass and tinted colors to the refreshed icons and rounded design. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech content. Also check out my iPadOS 26 video delay. Uh, the link is in the description below. Um, see you in the next one.